In this video, I am going to show you how I um, do the decoration on the surface. And this is a pinch porcelain yunami. And it's very thin, so it's very translucent. But um, what I'm going to show you today is how I did all these joints on the surface. And so um, you can see I mainly just use this tube. I bought it from Axner, A-X-N-E-R. Uh, it's called um, Underglaze Pen. It comes in a uh, different size tip. Tip that is uh, in metal. And I usually use the finer tip, which uh, sometimes can be quite hard to use because it get clogged very easily. But um, there are times I also use um, one size up, which um, will give me a thicker line. Anyway, I don't have it right here, but you get what I mean. And I also find that this one is also very good, the precision decorators. It comes in uh, bottles like this, and with a tip like this, with four different tips. Four different sizes tips and in a, in a bottle. I'll show you. Like this. Okay. So, um, I'm going to demo today with how I use this one with eczema and uh, before I start I usually will have to put a few drops of water to uh, thin down the underglaze. I'm going to use a blue one today and so how I did it is I just use um, a brush dip one or two drops of water that will be good enough and then um, shake it really well before I use it and then I will try it out I'm gonna see that it flows well So, and now I'm just going to draw, um, when I draw, I don't usually, uh, uh, I don't usually have a very, I don't usually trace before I draw. Occasionally, if the drawing is something that is new to me, I may just use a pencil and do some markings and to see, kind of see where um, the drawing will look like. But when I really draw, I don't usually follow the lines very um, rigidly. And I like to draw it very loosely, so kind of that's how I draw. Okay, so um, yes, I'm just going to go ahead and start it. And, um, and this is done on the base wear because I... Uh, I like to do it on the bisware just because uh, on the greenware it's the tip always catch on the powder of the surface on the surface and it always crock up very easily. Kind of annoying. And I draw it very quickly, not worrying about where the lines will make any mistakes or whatever. So what it is that I have to say is that this thing 
If I go very quickly, I uh, get the very fine lines and, um, and sometimes I get a bit of dotted lines look, a little bit dotted, and which is fine with me and um, you know, I'm not particular about that. Okay, we're going to kind of mess it up here, doesn't really matter, and I am just going to draw. Very, um, you can see my style of drawing is actually very loose and um, very kind of, I would say, like chaotic, messy. So, um, like, if I am drawing something that I am more, I'm new to it, I try to do it quickly so you don't have to hear that scratchy sound. I think I'm done with this. And um, if I'm okay, this is this is how it looks like. It's kind of a big mess. Um, and like so, I did some of the spoons over the um, holidays just to give it to my friends and uh, for my family. And so when I was thinking of what to draw, you know, I wanted something really quite cute, and I don't really draw animal that much i don't really know how to draw animal that much and so what i did was i went google some images and then um i uh, will try and pick up some of the images uh, that i like and then i don't really like to copy them directly of course uh, you know it's 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 not as original but also when i try to copy something onto my pieces, usually they are not as uh, free flow. They uh, usually um, looks very tight. So what I do is I will try and sketch some on the piece of paper before I actually draw on my pieces. And when I start drawing my pieces, um, I don't, I just go for it. I don't really like um, try to copy or try to try, try to slow it down. and I, do it very quickly so you know it's like you know all these things and so and, and you can see my drawings are kind of a little bit cartoonish and a lot of uh, exaggerations more like just one thing to exaggerate some of the um, gestures or um, my you know the big eyes tilt of the head so it doesn't really matter to me whether they look real or not. Um, anyway. Okay, so this is... And then I'll go in and do a little bit of that uh, fine details, like some draw, some design on the butterfly wings, dogs and all that. I'm not going to do all of it because you will get bored just by watching me. Um, so I would just draw a different design on and um, you know you can just do any kind of design you want to. I'll just draw a couple, a few and then you can see what I'm trying to show you. I draw with both hands because um, actually I'm a left-hander, but I was um, forced to use my left hand, uh, right hand, and so I, I can use my both hands. And that's when I'm, that's kind of an advantage. So when I get tired, my arms get, my fingers are tired, like squeezing this. I can't get really tired. Um, I'll just change hands. and. Um, so this is just some of the design I would put on and then uh, if I have finished 
drawing all the designs. I always remember to try and put this back before it gets stuck. Okay. Then I will do just a little bit of shading. And so how I did it was I add water onto my um, this blue under glaze. And then I have to touch it out. I don't really I don't really have an idea like how much to add or not. Um I have to test it out to see if I like the consistency. And I think this looks pretty good to me. Um what I'm looking for is watercolor light uh, kind of look. And I want it very uh liquid. And um, I'll go in and do this and this shade it a little bit. So one thing very difficult to see is that what you see right now on your piece is not actually what you are going to get after fire. And um, it's you just have to do a little bit of testing and a little bit of guessing too, like how how this might look like and it really sometimes sometimes you just get a lot of surprises because they, they just don't really look the same but um okay and it it's like um it's really it's like uh watercolor just a very light touch and I'm not so worried not so concerned about all these marks you know that this um, broad strokes because I think I think that's just the way my drawing will look like. I'm just gonna do a little more so you can see this this is how it look like before it's fired and this one it has no glaze on top of the surface and you can see it's really much darker and um, I don't know if you can see it but yeah it's just a lot of um, yeah and as the drawing is kind of very messy looking but I that's the way I draw I guess I don't know how to draw a very nice and neat and so this just how I did it it's just very easy and i'm just going to use my uh to show you the brush too how i uh, would like to decorate using a brush and um yeah, a bit of water so what i have here it's i got some of this under glaze on here and um i just had a few drips of water just kind of like makes it flow better when I'm using my brush and um, depending on where or what kind of brush stroke I want in this case I'm looking for some very fine strokes and when I'm not so sure or not so certain of I, I would like to try it out on a piece of paper first before I actually put it on my um, on my piece so this is a very thin brush um, I like it a lot and um, so you can see I can get very fine lines if I go over very gently very quickly and softly um, but if I go a bit harder or slower I get a bolder line like that so I think I'm pretty okay with this so I'm gonna go ahead and do it on my piece Let me draw some lines here. And always remember that this is going to get darker.
the, the difference between the brush strokes and um, the slip thriller is that brush, um, I think it's, it's harder to get a very fine lines, you know, very fine detail lines. And I personally feel that it's much quicker to draw with the slip thriller. But the brush stroke has its own beauty, which is just beautiful, you know, a very soft looking than the slip thriller. Slip thriller is more like pencil or more like pen drawing. And brush is just, just beautiful. Much softer. So I'm not, I'm not going to finish up the whole thing, I just don't want you to read, but um, okay, lovely, very quick one. Okay, I think I'm around there. And then I'll just go in and fill up the rest of it. And what I like about this is that you really, you know, I, I, I just I just really kind of I don't really worry about how this is going to be. The thing is that if you have, oh, what I, oh, I'm trying to show you this. So if I, I'll try and do it the other side. So if I have an area this way, let's say if I want to draw leaves, and um, so if I hold it there for a little bit, it's going to get darker. And when I pull it up, it has, let me show you, when I hold and I just pull it up, it gets that kind of effect. And um, so here I might just want to put a bit more water, because I want it a little bit lighter. And then I will just do, say, Then I could also like tip it a little bit, like tilt up the plate, use the gravity to pull. You know, if I hold it there, it gets a little bit darker. So it has a two shape, the two shape, two shape that I like. in and cut this one. Okay, the darker is I'll a little bit.
Oh, I'm not really happy about this. Anyway, so this is how I decorate it, and you can see the difference between using a slip trigger and a brush. Because one is very soft, and one is like more like a tank drawing. And um, so uh, there are times when I um, like I this when I'm when I was doing this. I started off using a very fine tip slip trailer and so I did it very carefully the whole drawing and then I at the end when I was looking at it I wasn't too happy with how it looked so then I used um, another slip trailer with a bigger tip to went over to go over the line and um, make it thicker this makes the, the line look thicker and then I that's how I get all this um, kind of bigger strokes anyway that's all I have for you today thank you